Okay guys, what's up? It's Nick from microiphone.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your Cydia and your settings wallpapers. So basically the default pinstripe uh, wallpaper or the boring old grey and white uh, stripes on your Cydia and your settings in the background if you've noticed that before. So I'm going to be change, telling you how to change that in this video today. So I'm going to get straight on into it. Now you won't need anything from Cydia. You just need to be on a PC or a Mac right here and be able to SSH. I'll put a link in the description on how to SSH. Now first thing you're going to need to do is make a folder. So you're going to need to go to your desktop and go new, right click new and then make a folder and you can name this whatever you want. So here's one I've actually done before and it's what I use right now and it's called Cydia and Settings. So let's just name this one Let's drag it up here. Let's name this one Settings in Cydia, just the other way around. Okay, so once you've done that, you need to open it up and and you need to make a And you need to make a folder inside this. Now again, go right click, new, and folder. And you need to name this capital U, capital I, capital I, lowercase m, a, g, e, s. So it basically spells out UI images, but the first three letters are capitals. I'll also have that in the description in case you couldn't get that straight away. So once you've done that, we can just minimize that for a second. Now you are going to need uh, wallpaper, so this one right here, I've got, I'm going to use this one, I'm going to open it up real quick, now it has to be 320 by 480 pixels, um, that is basically the size of the screen for your iPhone and iPod touch, so it needs to be that size, 320 by 480 pixels, and it needs to be a PNG file, so make sure it's a PNG, so here's my wallpaper, wallpaper right here, now you can um, find lots of wallpapers on the internet. I'll put a link in the description to a great uh, wallpaper site that I use a lot. And um, you can, or you can make one in Photoshop. Very simple. So here's my one. Oh, we're going to close out of Photoshop right now, and we are just going to drag this into. Actually, open up Settings and Cydia again. Open up UI Images and find wherever your wallpaper is saved and drag it into your folder into the UI images folder okay so once you've done that guys again you're going to need to rename this now make sure you rename everything correctly because it does matter on spelling and all sorts of and things like that capitals as well so make sure you spell it correctly okay so for this one you're going to need to write in capital U capital I capital P lowercase i lowercase n, lowercase s, lowercase t, lowercase r, lowercase i, lowercase p, lowercase e. So it spells UI pinstripe. So once you've got that, again that will be in the description guys, but once you've got that, and it's a PNG file by 320 by 480 pixels down here as you can see, once you've done that, you are good to go. Okay, so you've got your folder right here, we're going to just put it over here. So once you've done that, Make sure your device is connected to your Wi-Fi and you're just going to simply come to your uh, SSH tool, whichever one you use, and log in to your SSH tool. So I'm going to log in right now and type in my password. Okay, so we need to go back. Alright, so once you've logged into your SSH tool, you need to go to private var stash themes and just scroll right down to the bottom is the easiest way to do it. And then on the left hand side here or wherever you saved it, so mine's on the desktop, so if I go to the desktop and uh, find wherever I saved it, so,
Okay, so here's mine, settings and Cydia. Right here. You just need to drag that into your themes folder. Now make sure it doesn't like highlight blue when you're dragging it in because it will drop it in that folder that's highlighted. So make sure it's like that. You can see the plus sign on the little arrow, but there is no blue highlight. Okay, click copy and it will copy in. Okay, so once you've done that, uh, if we just scroll down, you can see there it says settings and Cydia right there. So we know it's in our files now, so we can now go, you can close out a Winner CP or whichever you use um, if you want, and you can come to your device. So once you've done that, you can come to a device and open up Winterboard. Now you'll see at the top right here it says settings and Cydia. So that is the one um, that we're going to be using. So we've just made that settings and Cydia. So we're going to tick that and respring. So once we've resprung, if we open up settings and Cydia, and um, I think there are a few more applications with that pinstripe. I'm not sure if I have any, but if you do, you'll notice that that, that wallpaper you chose is there. So we're going to slide to unlock, and if we go to settings, you will see I have the wallpaper. Now it doesn't really show well for settings, but you can see it right there. Um, it's best if I show you Insidia, so I'm going to wait for Cydia to load, and I will be back when Cydia has loaded. Okay, so Cydia's loaded, guys, and you can see I have my wallpaper. Now, like I said, in settings it doesn't show well, and Cydia isn't much better, as, however you can see it a bit. Um, if you go to manage, that's probably the best way to see your wallpaper in action. So here is my wallpaper that we chose um, to put on uh, Cydia and settings, or settings and Cydia, sorry. And um, so there it is, guys. It's pretty easy to do. And um, just another cool customization trick for your iPhone and your iPod Touch. So just to run over the steps again real quick. First thing you need to do is make a folder and you can name it whatever you want. That name that you name it will be show up in Winterboard as that name. When you've done that, you want to double click on it. And inside that folder, you want to make another folder. And you want to name that UI Images. Now that is spelled capital U, capital I, capital I, lowercase m, a G E S. That will be in the description. So once you've done that, you want to open up UI images and take a wallpaper from anywhere. You could have made it or you could have found it on the internet. I'll put a website link in the description, like I said, to a really cool wallpaper website. But once you've got your wallpaper and it's 320 by 480 pixels and it is a PNG file, you can drag it into your UI images folder. Okay, so once you've done that, you just want to SSH into your device, drag it into your themes folder, and then check it in Winterboard and Respring, and you will notice you have your wallpaper in Cydia, and also in Settings. So there you go, guys. Real quick um, customization trick right there for you guys. If you didn't know how to do that, there you go. So that's about it from me, guys. It's Nick from MigrateIphone.com. And I'll catch you guys very soon in the next video. As always, peace.